In this video we'll cover server horn height and the server horn height is something that greatly affects the handling but a lot of people don't take note of the difference it makes or how you can change this to fine-tune the handling of your car and uh, first of all I'm going to explain what's the difference between a higher or a lower server horn height and in the next step I'm going to explain what different options we have for mounting different server horn heights or different server horns uh, in the X4 or even the T4 uh, car platforms. So I got the different options lined up here. But first of all, I'm going to talk about uh, the difference. So a higher servo horn height means that the servo doesn't need to travel as far to reach the desired lock. So basically the resolution is smaller and the steering becomes more sensitive. You often get the feeling that the car is uh, more responsive that it reacts quicker to your steering inputs and uh, it can often give the, the sensation that you actually have more steering in the car. So typically what we do is if the grip is very high and the car is very hard to drive, uh, maybe on the erratic side, like difficult to control, difficult to be precise with, then we go to a lower servo horn height and uh, a lower servo horn height basically increases the resolution of the, the steering travel. So the servo needs to travel further to reach the same amount of steering lock. And this means that you need to turn up the EPA in your radio higher. So basically you need more steering to reach the same amount of steering lock. And that gives you a bit more forgiving handling. The, the steering can often feel more precise, but on the, on the downside, it makes the steering feel less responsive, sometimes even lazy, and it can sometimes give you the feeling of having less steering even though you have the same amount of steering lock. So let's move on to the next step and see what options we have for mounting onto the car. So what different server horn heights um, do we have to our disposal? What can we use to fine-tune the handling of the car? The kit comes with a servo horn that looks like this. It is, it's the same servo horn that came with the uh, T4 kits as well. It's carried over from that platform. And the servo horn height, which I'm talking about here all the time, is the um, distance from the center of the servo spline to the center of the hole. So in this case, to the top hole we have 19 millimeters. That's the basic setting that we normally use. And if you look at my car here, I have a hoodie direct two hole servo horn mounted on the car in which I'm using the top hole. And the top hole on this servo horn here has the same distance, uh, 19 millimeters. So that's the same distance like the top hole on, this, on the kit standard Servo saver. And this is the initial setting for myself and for most team drivers for most conditions. We use this hole, this distance. Uh, like I spoke about earlier, if you want to go lower to make the steering less responsive and more forgiving, you have several options. For example, you have the um, second hole on the servo saver, which is 16 and a half millimeters, so slightly lower. The next option is to use the offset servo horn which looks like this which has just the one hole and it's got an offset here so you need to use um, less shims for the steering link compared to what you would use with um, the regular two hole direct servo horn and this distance here is 16 millimeters on this horn and you have another option to go even lower which is the third hole on the servo saver is 15 millimeters, as you can see here. And that's the same distance like the lower hole on this two hole servo horn. So those distances are what you have to your disposal. We also have this lower hole here on the saver, which is even lower, but that's not appropriate to use for the X4 and T4 platforms. That's mainly for the X12. So with this info, you've learned what the servo horn height does, 
the theory behind it, and what options you have for mounting it in the car to fine-tune the handling. I hope that you enjoyed the video.